Well, helping women attain financial freedom, author Galit Ventura Rosen stops by to share tips from her latest book with the hope of inspiring other women. Welcome back. As a mother of three, Galit Ventura Rosen wanted to find a way to support women through motherhood as well as business and financial management, and she has developed a helpful four-step method and is here to break it all down for us today. Welcome to the show, Galit. It's always so great to see you. Thank you, Jillian. You look so bright and summery in your orange. <laughs> you look great. And Might as well. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, I want to jump right into it because I want to talk about your book first. Tell us a little bit about it, what the goal was, and what you're hoping people take away from it. Absolutely. I have this theory that success is based on 80% mindset and 20% actually the things that you learn. So it was really important for me to put out there out of 27 years of being an entrepreneur how it's possible for you to have this mindset that's kind of limitless but also gives you financial freedom. Yeah, so let's talk about financial freedom. Yeah. What advice do you have for women out there who maybe don't even know where to start, where to begin? What does financial freedom mean? The best definition I can give you is it means something different for each person. At the end of the day, you've got to kind of have your own goal. What is your goal? What is it that you want? If it's things, if it's experiences, if it's being able to get out of debt. So first know your goal, but really what it means is I wake up in the morning and I take a deep breath and I don't have to worry about mm -hmm. where my next check is coming up from or how to support my children or how to pay my rent. So kind of giving women that sense of relief and knowing I got this, I'm organized, I know where I'm going from here, and that just takes yes. off a huge weight on your shoulders every day, right? Yes. So let's talk about kind of finding that relationship though, learning your relationship with money, with yourself, with all of that. How do you learn that within? A lot of times it's things that have been ingrained in us or that we experienced when we were younger. So you might have seen your parents fight over not having enough money. Some people saw their parents fighting over having too much money. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, that's a thing too. So at the end of the day, when you look back and think, where does my relationship with money really start? Where did it come from? And what experiences have I had? That's really where you start. And then you kind of start working your way really forward from that. Absolutely. So these are all things that people can learn in your book. And what I think your story is so incredible. You went back to school. Um, you were in your 30s, right? Went back to college. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> yeah. is so incredible. What advice do you have for someone out there who wants to kind of take that leap of faith, but is maybe nervous to take that first step? First and foremost, figure out what it is you want to accomplish and then find a way to do it. And don't let the house scare you because enough people out there know how to do the things that you don't. That's incredible. And look at you now. I mean, you have built this incredible business and helping other people. If people want to read your book or find you or ask you questions, where should they go? To my website, GalitVenturaRosen.com. Galit, thank you so much. You're, you're already making my wheels turn <laughs> of, okay, how can I have a better relationship with my finances? And it's really important to think about always, but especially right right now. So thank you for thank all of you. your knowledge. I'm going to be reading your book. Thanks, Julie. <laughs> Mercedes, I'll send it over to you.